both weigh in in the welterweight category, 170 pounds or under. For the official introductions of this welterweight matchup from the Hard Rock, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this next fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, the fighter standing in the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer and Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. He holds a mixed martial arts record of 13 wins with five losses. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Victoriaville, Canada, Jonathan, the road warrior, Goo! And now introducing his opponent, standing in the red corner. This man is a wrestler and a boxer, and holds a mixed martial arts record of seven wins with one loss. Standing five feet, 11 inches tall, he weighed in at 168 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Jay Thoroughbred Heron! When the action begins, the referee in charge of this contest is John Shorley. So John Shorley, our referee, the debut of Jonathan Goulet, who many have said is a George St. Pierre Jr. Jay Heron was defeated by St. Pierre in his Ready? first ever trip into the Ready? octagon. So a message here for Heron as he gets to take on a friend and training partner of the man who defeated him. And you know what, Joe? A high kick early by Jonathan Goulet. Yeah, Goulet's got great stand-up. Really been looking forward to seeing this guy fight for a while. He looks very confident on his feet. Jay Heron, we saw him get stopped by George St. Pierre. He's much more of a wrestler. And he uses his wrestling skills to get Goulet on his back. You know, Drew Fickett, James Irvin, they lost their UFC debuts and then came back very impressively in their second UFC. So that may be what we see here for Jay Heron, is that, you know what, it was tough the first time, couldn't get it done. Now I can get it done the second time. I'm not as nervous. Maybe the nerves will be in Goulet with his UFC debut. Absolutely. I mean, Jay Heron is an accomplished wrestler, an accomplished athlete. He's, uh, you know, he's training at a great camp. He just, it's, it's hard. The first fight, the big show, it's very difficult to show you true skills. There's just so much pressure. And uh, unfortunately for him, he fought a guy who is much more comfortable with, than he is, had more experience in the octagon, and is a phenomenal talent. Now, Heron has moved to Vegas now, has very intense training pretty much on a daily basis with Phil Baroni. Nice, good side control. He got the side control. Heron moved over. Now he's got Goulet's back. Heron very confident. He's got early. an arm in. Can he be the he's finisher the with the choke? He's got the choke, and he's got one hook, and he's got to get his left leg in to secure uh, Jonathan Goulet's back. He's got the over-under here. Referee John Shorley right on top of the action. Good composure by Goulet. That was a bad situation. Now he's working a Kimura on his own. He's got a hold of Heron's arm. Heron's arm is in jeopardy, especially since he only has one hook in. Oh, spun out of it. And they are back to neutral position. This now remember is, the striking ability of Goulet. Yes, this is definitely Goulet's advantage. We were actually thinking the same thing there. That's where we are. That's right, baby. Team, baby. Good high kick by Goulet. Ducked under that one to Jay Haran. Haran really wants to send a message. He's worked his stand up. He's an excellent wrestler. I wouldn't say he's a world class wrestler. He's an excellent wrestler, though. He's taking some shots, though. His yep. stand up is improved, but it's so hard to catch up to someone who's much better than you at stand up. And Goulet is undefeated in the 170 pound weight class. He's on an eight fight winning streak coming here into the octagon tonight. Nice takedown by Jay Heron. Inside control, dropping some hammer fists. Down here is where Jay Heron has the advantage. Side control. Heron's doing a really good job of controlling Goulet. Neutralizing the striking advantage of Jonathan Goulet when he has side control on the canvas here inside the octagon. Goulet doing a good job of defending himself in this position. Finish it this time. Can he get he's the hooks in, Joe? He's got to get that second hook there. He's got it. Nice. Very good position for Jay Heron. Very bad for Jonathan Goulet. He did a good job defending it the first time he got it, but this is deeper. Looking to finish with the rear naked choke. He's going to sink it in. The chin. He's got to grab that bicep and secure his left hand around the back of his head. Does he have it, Joe? He's got very close. Very close. He's on it. Oh, oh fighting out again. Jonathan Goulet. Twice. 
points here in the first round, has avoided the submission finish. And Jay Aaron showing his really excellent wrestling skills, getting back to his feet. Goulet really likes that high kick, but Heron has the hands next to his face each time thus far. Gotta be careful with the knee when he goes for his next takedown, but, but it's almost like he's clinching first before he goes for a takedown oh, instead of shoot. Oh, now Heron swings again. And then you can see his superior wrestling skills. I mean, he just moves so well off the ground. Oh, powerful position again. Got that back again. Can he do it this time? Will the third time be the charm in taking the back and finishing? Heron with good control here in round one. He allowed him to stand up there. He might be gassing. 45 seconds remains in round one. Heron may be getting weary. He allowed Goulet to stand up there, which is clearly not the best spot for him. Goulet really moving forward. And that's his reputation. Oh, connect right, right, right here. Oh, cut him too. Cut him over the right eye with that right hand. I think he was cut already. You think so? He showed a little bit of cut already. All right, well, it is open now, then. Let's just say that. It is It is purely open now, Joe. And here on again. Big slap. Superior wrestling skills. Amazing wrestler. In his training, Mount. he has trained with Randy Couture before. He took down Randy Couture three times in training, and it was a full-out go. I mean, if you can take down Randy Couture in a full-out go in training, you've got some wrestling skills. Especially skill. when you're 170 here. pounds. Absolutely my point. Second round. Let's see if Goulet can do some more damage up top on the feet. That's where Joe and I believe he has the definitive back. Nice leg kick, and he shows it right there. This is a really interesting contrast in styles. Another, another excellent leg kick. And, 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 you know, look at Jay Heron. Just snatches that leg and gets a hold of it. Nice I mean, there's just no doubt in his mind. That, oh, good reversal. See, and, and now right there, Goulet looked a little bit like St. Pierre. The way he was so quick and moving from opportunity to opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. Pushing the pace. I mean, That's what St. Pierre does so well. Nice knee. And you trained with an animal. Oh, he got caught by that knee. You trained with an animal like George St. Pierre. I mean, if you can hang in there with that guy. Well, straight kick. Out of the wazo. Oh, good shin to the face there, too. Nice. Jay Heron. Beautiful takedown. Blood is everywhere, though, man. If he's going to finish this, he better get in there quick. He's in danger. This fight being stopped. They're going to stop and look at that cut. That is bleeding bad. Get up. Let's get, get a look up, get at up, it. Both are bloodied up, but Heron has taken much, much more damage from really the one strike, Joe. Is that one knee. And what's the we were talking about before. The knees are just a, it's a raw bone with a lot of muscle behind it. Let's take a look at that knee on the replay. Okay. Goulet gets a hold of the head and bang, drives that knee up and immediately see the blood flow. I mean, that is just a raw bone. All right, they're stopping. They're putting him back in the same position. Steve Mazzagatti has him in the same position. They're going to let him continue. And as we know, as, as, as bad as the cut looks to you at home, when you, when you have your heart going at 200 beats a minute and it's in the facial area, it is going to bleed and bleed profusely, which is what we see here. Now, the, the question is, will it affect Heron or Heron's attack right now? Excuse me, I said Steve Mazzagatti is actually referee John Short. Oh, Jay Heron with the guillotine and rolls him over. Beautiful technique. Let's see if he can finish it this time. He doesn't he have it anymore. He's going to let it go. He's, he's got his head, but he doesn't have the guillotine. And you know, Joe, because of the blood, both men are going to get very slippery right now. It's going to make it harder to really get a hold on each other. The sweat now, a little blood in there. Yeah, it's, it's pretty slick. Yeah. That is nasty. There's a lot of blood there. And Goulet, uh, using using the opportunity, attacked that cut. I mean, he's punching at it, throwing elbows at it. Oh, he hit it again hard. And you yeah, see just okay. a load yeah, of great, blood on his elbow. Great point, Joe. I mean, oh. just two times with the palm of the hand, like boom, boom, boom. That's his, that's his aiming point right now. If yeah, you're absolutely. playing darts, that's his bullseye right now. Just keep hammering it. Open it up even more, perhaps yeah, forcing the doctor stoppage. Uh, he just hit it with a hammer fist and another elbow. It is bloody. And it's leaking into Jay Heron's eyes. He must be having a hard time seeing right now. He's losing a lot of blood. Two minutes, 30 seconds remains in I, the second round. They're going to have to stop this again. This is really, really bloody. This might be one of the bloodiest fights I've ever seen. These guys are coated with red right now. So you want to be an ultimate fighter. Oh, man, this is the bloodiest fight I have ever seen. This is crazy. Yeah, this is our spike. Look at look at how much blood is leaking out of him. It's like he's an open faucet. 
Oh, my goodness. I mean, critics and people who think ultimate fighting is bloody and brutal, this is fuel to the fire right here. Jay Heron is leaking on top of Jonathan Goulet. Oh, this is nasty, man. They are absolutely coated right now. They need to stop this fight. One minute and 38 seconds remains in round two. Yeah, now, now yeah, the from the is... bottom is Goulet saying, man, I can't do anything here, man. This is ridiculous. This is incredible. That's Goulet saying that. I'm a, I'm a little shocked right now that they haven't stopped this. I mean, this is a horror movie right now. And every time Jonathan Goulet keeps hitting it, that cut does not have a time, an opportunity to clog up. Oh, man, this is hard to watch. Heron still is fighting through it, though, Joe. And, you know, he's just saying, I want to finish this fight, get my victory before the doctors are forced to stop it. He's fighting through it, but he's got to be freaked out. He's got the back. Trying to fix it. It's too slippery. It's just too slippery. Yeah, buddy. Too slippery. Oh, he took a knee to that same spot. Jay Heron's got his back again. <laughs> but if Jay Heron can pull this out, he's trying to again, but then he's got the mount factor. Jay Heron's got the mount, John Goulet rolls him over. I mean, man. 25 seconds. They can, oh, man, I can't believe this fight is being allowed to go on with all this blood. You keep hearing his corner screaming out, they are not going to let you fight, Jay. And again, this was one wow. knee. One knee to put these men in this position. Wow. Absolute warrior. That was the bloodiest round in mixed martial arts history without a doubt. I have seen hundreds and hundreds of mixed martial arts We're fights from all over the world. I've never sit seen down, a sit round down, sit down. that bloody. Sit down, Jay. The question here will be, Joe, can they control the blood? You got a posture. You got Stitches a posture. Work in the this cut. fight's over. Stitches work in the cut. He's one There's that replay again. There's that knee that started it all. You see it again. Goulet pulls the head down and bang. Perfect timing with the knee. I think Goulet to a certain degree. And Goulet stepped away from that. You can see the blood. He saw it, and as a gentleman, he stepped away to say, whoa, man, we got a problem here. You know what? I mean, I, I think Goulet's a little bit in disbelief. He's in disbelief. And they're going to continue round number three. What a battle. Oh, flying knee. Nice leg kick by Goulet. And a return by uh, Jay Heron. John Shortley, our referee, is right on top of the action. Heron gets the take takedown by Heron. The blood is flowing a little bit, but not nearly as bad as in that round two. Heron still got double underhooks and a body lock, and he's leaking now. It's right in front of us. I mean, it's like a broken faucet. You know, I wonder how much blood he's actually lost in total and how much this is weakening him. There's blood all over this octagon. I mean, that's got to have an impact on him. Uh, you know what? Just the discipline and strength and oh, another one. these two fighters to continue right now, Joe. To he just continue. Wait, they're going to stop it. Yeah, he just got hit with another knee and rocked, and he backed away. Here comes the doctor. He's very wobbly. This may be it. He's very wobbly, and I don't know if that's from being hit with the knee or if that's all over. Right. That's it. It is all over. all over. Doctor Stoppage, Jay Heron, defeated by Jonathan Goulet. That was nasty. Bang, right there. You see it right on the forehead, and the blood flows immediately. Crazy, crazy fight. One like we have never seen in UFC history. Let's get the official word from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, on the doctor's advice, referee John Shirley has called a stop to this contest at one minute, five seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner, Jonathan, the Road Warrior Goulet. So the Road Warrior makes it.
his way to the UFC and he wins in his debut.